Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and in this video, we're going to answer the question, are we going to make it as there has been some concern within the post-chain community as far as the price action, some concern on X, there has been some concern in Telegram. So we're going to look at the price action, we're going to look at the sentiment within post-chain, and we're going to look at you know some of the positives on post-chain. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice. You always, always, always only use risk capital. And thank you to those who continue to support the channel. So with Pulsechain, what is it looking like? We're sitting at 406994 and down 1.08% over the last 24 hours. 2 million in buy volume versus 2.1 million in sell volume. Now, we lost a zero at one point. So we lost a zero at one point and then got as high as, you know, roughly three zeros, one eight six one. And I thought we were going to get to that price point of three zeros and two. We never did. Ever since then, it's been a bearish trend and we gained the zero back. And it's been a free fall ever since for post chain. But having said all that, it is encouraging to see, you know, some of these buys coming in, these conviction buys coming in, somebody buying 68K worth of post chain. So 982 million post chain. Again, they're they're buying bearish trends. That's what you want to do. 35k somebody bought 508 million post chain here you know obviously there's going to be some sell pressure people selling somebody sold like 49k here as you know maybe their sentiment as is not as as happy so 722 million post chain that was sold but what are some things we can look at far as some positives like what are some positives we can look at as far as are we going to make it here's a positive looking at the bridge the bridge is showing you know 113 million dollars being bridged over from ethereum so if 113 million dollars can find its way over to post chain then more money can find its way over it's just a matter of those different narratives but you know that is definitely encouraging to see let's see if we can look at some activity real quick you know here are the total transactions on post chain it's just a matter of having some consistency you know if we can consistently have you know millions of transactions per day and up that's what we need so that volume needs to shift over to post chain with post chain, we have to continue to preach the message of that there, there is always uptime on the chain. You know, processing transactions is fast. The gas fees are fairly cheap. And then the active wallets, you know, these active wallets, you know, there's, you know, there's spikes and then, you know, people go away. Spikes, 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 people go away. But again, the thing that will bring people over are you know, the different narratives. And so let's look at, you know, some of those. Let's look at the sentiment, but let's also look at the narratives. So let me go to a couple posts. So number one, let's look at how some of the people within the post chain community are feeling. So here's Crypto Coffee. Last cycle, Ethereum dropped 61% over 69 days, bottoming three times. Postchain has done a 66% drop in 49 days. Crypto is incredibly volatile and can make life-changing gains in the long run. So, you know, having the patience, conviction, and big picture. And like, again, you got to have that conviction. So great post by Crypto Coffee. You know, B Roots here, he's pretty much talking about, I'm betting when rap Bitcoin on Postchain starts moving the way PDI did, it will move ultra fast. The maxis won't crap on it. It'll have way less FUD and it will get faster adoption than it took PDI. So I agree. That's another narrative that can bring people over. 
If wrapped Bitcoin on post chain, which is trade, trading around $300, pegs to the current price of Bitcoin, or it gets a massive run up to maybe like 2K, 3K, 5K, 10K, then you're going to be have people piling in onto post chain to buy the undervalued Bitcoin, which is going to peg to a dollar. And that, so again, narratives, I have a bag of rap Bitcoin and PDI because I know if those narratives hold true, I can make some nice gains. So, you know, he's, 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 he's for the most part, you know, feeling good about post chain, but he's making a point. And here, you know, this is a little bit of a bearish tone here for awakening. 50 to 52 weeks notion was just people reading into what they want to hear. Don't listen to his puppets, KDP, blah, and then otherwise you will be waiting another three years for a 2X in Richard Hart's trash. So he is obviously bearish on post chain, you know. B roots here, again. These four coins saved Pulse Chain, Atropa, PDI, Teddy Bear, and Rat Bitcoin. And I believe a lot of that volume did, in fact, come over because of the price action that people are seeing on Bear. I'm up on Bear. Rat Bitcoin has been another one that I'm just holding, and, and we're hoping for that nice run up. PDI, I'm in a nice position on PDI and have gains there. So that's the thing. And but yeah, he's completely right. You know, it's preventing it from being a ghost chain because of those narratives. KDP, you know, seemed like her sentiment is kind of down a little bit, not in a bad way, but essentially needing a pick me up. I miss Richard Hart live streams, post chain, post X hex, and ink. And you know, some people in the community may need a pick me up. So there's that. But again, we have builders like Icarus. Icarus is a new project and you know Icarus and Wings you know are nice projects that have the potential to run you know people are building on post chains 202 plus projects analytics we got Dex you know shouts out to SparkSwap and PulseX we got DeFi shouts out to Function Island shouts out to uh of all these projects here, the barrier of entry, you know, on off ramps need to be easy, easily be able to hook your bank account or debit card, regardless of where you live. That is, that's a absolute must for post chain. But again, in a time being, if people need to bridge over, they know how to bridge over and then here are all the wallets. But this is encouraging to see the building on here and one other thing i want to bring up real quick again narratives so ben armstrong launched bro and things like that will help bring adoption i don't know if i have him let me check so he launched bro today and it's up you know 600 and something 60 60k plus percent is up on the day things like this are what can bring adoption because you have people like ben armstrong and they have a narrative of this coin and all of a sudden it goes on a run well if it goes on a run people are going to quickly bridge over but it's just a matter of the staying power with this is this going to be a meme that it's a couple of days and done or is it going to be a meme that runs for a long time? But if it gets people over to post chain, I'm all for it. So as for me, how am I feeling with post chain? For me, PDI has worked out. Teddy Bear has worked out as I'm strengthening my position in, in Teddy Bear. Post Strip has worked out for me as I got in, again, at lucky times at the bottom and it's just continuing to build so like for me with these projects you know it's it's been a you know a, a positive ex a positive experience and hoping to get like those life-changing gains but it's just a matter of getting more people over 
How do you bridge over? You know, I use Simple Swap. Some people use the bridge over here on Spark Swap, but you can use over here. I believe you can you can bridge. I want to say you can bridge Die. Yeah, you can you can bridge your BSC Die. Bridge that over to Pulse Chain. Let me see if it'll let me ch change it. Let's see. Die. It's being stubborn. But you have the option over here on Spark Swap to swap this one into Pulse Chain. It's just a matter of it swapping over. And then Simple Swap is what I use the most. I normally just grab BNB, swap it into PLS. I tell it where I want my where I want to receive my post chain, what wallet address I want to receive it. And then on the next screen, it'll give you like a QR code and it'll say send the BNB to the QR code address. So that's how you bridge over. You know, make sure you add post chain to your MetaMask or Rabbit wallet. And that's how you, you bridge over. You know, you're going to need to scoop up your BNB from like a centralized exchange. I normally get it from crypto.com, send it to my hot wallet, and then I I make the exchange from here. So for me, on Pulse Chain, my thoughts, are we going to make it? Narratives drive everything and kind of that ease of barrier of entry i have a feeling you know something positive will happen in the works now are we going to go on this insane run this bull run i can't predict the future i can't but i do know is if you have conviction in something you dca in at those low prices and then you kind of wait for the run-up i want to thank everybody for listening and thanks for stopping by